Brooklyn, if I might, if I may, from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. When he said that the measure of a man is not where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. And if I may paraphrase, it's where they stand when things are sure enough going wrong. That's the measure of a man. Who you are and what you do, what you fight for, who you fight for, and who you fight against, it's always relevant. 54 years ago, you were in the front lines of trying to desegregate school housing at the University of Chicago. You were even arrested. What was it that motivated a 20-year-old white kid from Brooklyn to do that? When you are willing, at the age of 19, to know that in Chicago, housing discrimination against African-American folks was rotten to the core, and you are willing to be chained to a black woman on the front line, that's the measure of a man. Just today in the Chicago Tribune, if we can put this up on the screen, surfaces this photo of a young Bernie Sanders being arrested in 1963 on the south side of Chicago in the midst of the civil rights movement. I, I think that's a picture that's going to speak a thousand words. His history defines him. But it's not just about what he did in the 60s and the 80s and the 90s. It is what he is doing right now. I'm here because working class and poor people deserve a chance at economic freedom. And yes, if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be in poverty. My radical idea is that in America, if somebody works 40 hours a week, that person should not live in poverty. All right, that's the radical idea. I believe we should raise the minimum wage to a living wage, and that is 15 bucks an hour over the next several years. After spending five hours with someone who has spent the last 50 years radically fighting for your rights and mine, I can tell you that I am very proud tonight to announce the next president of the United States, Senator Bernie.